back for a bear hawk build. So today we're gonna start working on the rear spars. Um, I've marked up some of the things to keep me in check, right? Like, is the left or the right? Top versus bottom, center versus root. And those are all done. So the goal today is to uh, use the center, the wing roots brackets right there, uh, right there, and mark them up. Drill some pilot holes, and then according to the plans, <clears throat> mark everything in its location uh, related to where the ribs should go and everything. So, got my guide here. It says, you know, it's mostly measured from the wing mounting hole or the beginning of the cap strip, which is standard to the main spars. And, uh, it says it might be helpful to lay the main spars adjacent to the rear spars when you mark up the rib location. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's get to it. All right, got my cap strips down. These are the 16 foot pieces from Wix. My main spar is right there for reference when I'm ready. I'm just going to mark these up a little bit more um, so I can see it when they're flipped over, what the markings are. And we'll get to marking up and starting to drill. I got my spacers right here. So essentially, they go like this, boom, line up the holes, and then, well in this case, this is the left side, this is the right side, and they just kind of sit like that. So we'll line that up, get that ready to go, clamp it, and drill some holes. This lined up, the top, boom. I've got it lined up here as well, and here, um, centered on that line, and then uh, just mocked up the cap strips to see how it would look. Center point to center point looks pretty good, so. Let's uh, center punch this and get to drilling so we can keep that in place. Before I um, start those drills, I'm actually gonna make a center point tool. So I took some measurements. I'm gonna cut this to length, make it so that it is a almost perfect fit, and then I punch out the center point of this. So I can use that as a reference point for the entire length of the rear spar. So we'll do that first um, and make sure we don't have any mistakes. Uh, I forgot that the camera wasn't running, so I just cut this with the bandsaw. Now let's uh, start sanding it. We've got a perfect fit. Boom. All right, let's uh, measure, the, measure the center point and uh, mark that, drill it, and good to go. Okay, got it all clamped up. Top, top bowl, center bowl. The top one appears to be a 5 16th. The center one seems to be a 1 quarter, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
while I have you here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to sponsor this, let me know. I don't know who would, but taking sponsorships, I don't know. But if you don't want to sponsor, like and subscribe. Six and three eighths for that first spacer bar. Is that the same? That's the same distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up um, the main spar with the uh, rear spar and make sure that those spacers are all in the same spot because it looks like they are pretty close. So, okay, my solution have the right main spar right here, have the right rear spar right here, lined up the attachment holes, and I'm going to essentially translate the rib locations to the rear spar. Pretty straightforward. And then uh, I'll also indicate where I'm going to be cutting as well at the center splice. So I have about an inch and a half to work with on this end. That's good to know. Do the same thing for the left side with the left spar. Make sure it's all lined up and that'll be good. Attachment point for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then center splice right here. I'm gonna cut this off on that side of the line. So, okay, I got the second half of it lined up at the center splice point. So, you're lined up right here with that and that and that. And we're gonna do the same thing, keep marking the rib locations. Actually, I don't even know if I did it on this side. No, I didn't. So, um, good to know. All right, so I'm gonna have to translate the rib marks to the main spar, but that's not super urgent. Oh well, missed something. All right, more rib locations. and I'll dress the gap. We gotta take some more measurements before we drill some more holes. Um, I've got the cap strips back in place, spacer in place. I know from this line right here, oh, there are a couple, but this is the one that, uh, see, can you see it? There you go. This is the one that's the straight one. Uh, from this line to the end, is six and three eighths inches. So I'll take that measurement, mark it off, uh, and that is where the cap strip will terminate. So I use my additional spacers for the time being to just mark the center line, make sure they're lined up. And now it's time to get my rivet fan and I'll start marking where everything should go. If you don't have one of these, highly recommend it. It's called a rivet fan. Um, and it evenly spaces out holes. These top rows measure out your distance and then boom. You got 21 at a time, I believe. 22, maybe? I don't know. All right, I've got all the holes marked. And um, what I'm gonna do next is trim off the excess right here and then verify everything lines up with the holes one more time. And then I will get to drilling 
each of the holes, so I'm going to stack each of the cap strips on top of each other and use one as a template for everything else. So that's the goal. All right, we're going to cut that piece off. I got my assistant, my wife, Ariel. And now, because it wasn't quite perfect, I'm just going to sand that two pieces down so that they're equal and uh, flush with each other and smooth. So, time for the sander. <laughs> We are lined up there. Rib, 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 rib. Lined up there. Rib, 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 rib. And I need to do the rest of the ribs. I'm gonna center punch the cap strip. And I'm gonna pre-drill with a 3 seconds inch drill bit before I do the final drill of a number 21, which is what the correct size is for an MS-2470-85 rivet. So there are a couple locations that require 3 16 drill bits. And uh, I'll probably just drill everything with the number 21. Well, everything with the 332nd, everything with the 21 drill bit. And then I will identify those 3 16 locations um, because that's obviously the biggest one. So it doesn't really matter if I drill them all the same size at first. Time to start drilling. I got my sacrificial piece of wood. I'm gonna clamp that along as we go and uh, it'll be great. Sweet. All the holes are drilled, at least the pilot holes. So three thirty seconds, 12 times 16, it's a lot of holes. So that's it for this episode. It's a lot of time, a lot of tedious stuff, not a lot of progress, not a lot of visual progress, a lot of mental progress for me. Um, next week, I'm going to try clamping these with those extra cap strips are eight total. They all need to have the same hole pattern. So um, at this point, we'll clamp those together, throw them on the drill press. The drill press is on its last leg, so we might have to pause in the middle of that. We'll see what happens. I might get a new drill press between now and the start of that video. Um, but make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.